another big topic that kind of came out the past few days after the combine was about LSU running back Darius Geis, who was asked during his interview if he likes men and if his and how he feels about his mother selling her body. Now, I know it's not a freezing cold take yet because it just happened, but I want you you're a lawyer by trade, so I wanted to put your your legal hat on here for a second. What the fuck is wrong with these coaches or GMs asking these ridiculous questions? If if you think of the NFL Combine as a job interview, it should be illegal for them to ask about sexual orientation. Well, they would. I, I'm trying to figure out the reason why they're asking. Um, it seems as if they were probably asking because of the fact that they want to see what he reacts, his reactions like. They want to see what kind of person. I'm sure they have all these different tricks to figure out people. Yeah. But in that regard, it's it's you're you're pushing a, a fine line there because it's in many states. I'd say probably more than half. I'm not sure. It's illegal to discriminate. In the labor laws, it's illegal to discriminate on sexual orientation. Um, the NFL, I don't know how – it's too technical for me to determine how that would work, right. given if it's just the combine, what team it is. I don't know. But uh, you don't want to go there because it appears someone could – even if you weren't asking to determine whether he likes men, whether you don't want that kind of person on your team, which would be really the discriminatory part then um, people are still going to think it anyway. Right. So it, it's just something you don't want to do. Uh, I suspect that it's becoming a bigger and bigger deal and that it's not going to be done in the future. I think people are going to, I think teams are going to be a little bit more uh, careful about that. And the, the question about his mom, I don't know if that's illegal, but I, I, I don't know. It's not a good look. Fred, we went down this road before. 2015, Eli Apple was in an interview with the Atlanta Falcons. They asked him the same question, do you like men? And Roger Goodell got involved and the NFL got involved. Demora Smith, uh, the NFLPA representative, got involved. Apparently, the the coach that asked Apple, who later got drafted by the Giants' top 10 pick, uh, spoke to Roger Goodell on the phone for 20 minutes explaining why it's not a good look, explaining why he can't ask a question like that. It's not like this is the first time it's come up at the combine with some of these scouts or GMs or coaches or, or whoever's asking these questions, but it, it just shows that the NFL still has this homophobic overtone attached to it in the locker room, outside the locker room, wherever. I wouldn't disagree with that, but I also would say that it probably isn't, I don't know necessarily whether it was something that is uh, something that they wanted to determine whether he liked men to pick him or not. But yeah, obviously they want to see what kind of reaction he gave. And given that they were possibly thinking it could be a negative reaction, then it's still, there is still an overtone of negativity. there. Yeah. It's just a terrible way. If they're trying to get a reaction from somebody, it's just a terrible way to go about doing it. Sure it happens all the time. I'm sure. But I'm sure Darius Guy's one of the people who actually said something about it. Right. And I wish he would out the team because I think, <laughs> they, I think they should be punished. Demora Smith, the guy from the NFLPA, said the team should, should be banned from the combine next year for asking that kind of question. You know who the team is. You know he's not going to out the team because he's going to get him, I know. make him look bad uh, in terms of the certain teams. I, I would, I would, I would. The team, it would reflect more poorly on him to the team. If he outed the team, uh, then it would, uh, then anything else. Then even him reacting poorly to that question. 